Hey y'all, it's Marianne Pack, your spiritual guide. And today's card that I pulled was from the Law of Attraction card set from Abraham Hicks. And uh, when after I got done meditating, I uh, the number 24 came into my mind. So I wasn't sure if it was the 24th card or this particular card set is actually numbered. And so I looked for, I had shuffled the deck and was ready to pull my card. So on my way to the 24th card, I happened to draw the card number 24. And I thought that was really um, awesome of the source uh, because when I got to the 24th card, it was one that we pulled just uh, the other day. And it's uh, my creative power lies in this moment. The one that we pulled the other day, yesterday, I think it was. Anyway, let's go to the um, 24th, uh, the number 24. It's this one. And it says, I am selfish enough to want to feel good. The back says, you cannot perceive life from any perception other than from that of yourself. Selfishness is the sense of self. Unless you are selfish enough to care about how you feel and therefore direct your thoughts in such a way that you are allowing a true connection to your inner being, you have nothing to give another anyway. Everyone is selfish. It is not possible to be otherwise. There's so many teachers and um, that teach that it's not good to be selfish. Um, you know, we were taught as little kids, don't be selfish, you have to share, you have to be good, you have to, you know. And I was thinking about that, um, but this, but we all perceive from our own selfish perception. We only have ourselves. We cannot perceive from another's point of view. Not truly, not completely. So all we have is our self-perception. And we all wanna feel good. That's a universal core desire. We all want the freedom to feel good. And when we are denying that core desire to feel good, we are in disservice to ourselves and to everyone around us because we're not caring enough about ourselves to make it our number one priority to feel good. Because when we think about thoughts that feel good and we care about feeling good, those good feeling thoughts are always in alignment with who we are, the inner being, the spiritual side of us, that eternal loving part of us, the God part of us, that um, is perceiving good about us all the time. So our inner being is always feeling good. And if we're not thinking thoughts that feel good, we are in opposition to our inner self, to what our inner being is knowing, thinking, and feeling about us. And this is a very important uh, concept to understand that feeling good thoughts, doing things that are pleasurable to us, means that we are in alignment. That's our indication. Feeling good is always our indication that we are aligned with who our inner being is calling us to be, who we've already become by our asking and our preferences that we've made along the way. It's only when we feel bad is when we're thinking and feeling and knowing something that is different, that is in opposition to our big inner self. That's the resistance, that's the discord we feel. Every time we feel bad and have negative emotions uh, that we wallow around in, um, 
that is in opposition. You are not in alignment with who you really are. So you are not harmonizing and blending the whole of who you are. The you, the physical, who's thinking, and the you, the spiritual, who is all-knowing, loving, uh, adoring you, uh, flowing well-being to you. It's okay to be selfish enough to care about how we feel. It is okay, that's who we are at the core of our being. Our self-perception, our sense of self is demanding that we feel good because our inner being is calling us to that feeling good place. So go about your day and start caring about how you feel Make feeling good your number one priority. Over and over, I see this in my life. Every time I get sloppy in my thinking and I just start letting life hit me in the face, it doesn't feel good because I start thinking in a manner in opposition to who I really am. And as soon as I realize that bad feeling and I can distract myself from that train of thought uh, to something that feels better. I see the world in such a better, lighter, lighthearted, nothing serious going on. All is well. I'm loved, I'm lovable, I am loving, I am worthy, I am deserving, I am happy, I am joyous. I am confident. All these wonderful things that make us feel good when we think about them, that's caring enough about how you feel, being selfish enough, because we only have our self-perception. We cannot perceive from another's uh, point of view. So go make it okay, because it is okay to make Feeling good, your number one priority. Have a glorious day.